Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today, I'm going to cover an application that I actively seeked out to solve a specific problem. Now, when delivering screencasts, either here on Screencast Online or for customers, friends, and family, displaying the keystrokes that I'm pressing can be problematic. Now, dependent on the updates to the core Mac OS, the success of actually displaying these can sometimes be hit and miss. And also, when I'm screen sharing project meetings, I have a need to be able to show the keys that are being pressed. So I wanted an application that just sits there, monitors what keys are being pressed, and shows them, and then has enough functionality to allow me to configure how and where they appear on the screen. Now, Keystroke Pro is that application for me. You can change key styles, colors, and sizes. You can change the animations for how they appear, as well as choose a position on not just one, but multiple monitors. Keystroke Pro is available from the Mac App Store now. I've already purchased it because I'm now actively using it in production, so we can't see the price here. But the price is £13.99. And I'll click Open here to start it. And we get the pop-up, which I'm sure you were expecting, saying that Keystroke Pro needs permission from the core Mac OS 2 function. So I'll just move this across for a second so that we can see this opening window that's sitting behind as well. Now at the top here, it tells us that Keystroke Pro is a menu bar application. And then below that, we need to grant permission. And then finally at the bottom, there's a little note to say that everything is customizable, which is pretty much correct. Okay, I'll open System Preferences now to grant permission. There it is. Let me just get rid of this App Store window behind it though. Let's make it a little neater here. There we are. Okay, so I'll click the lock to allow me to make the permission change. Click Use Password. I'll just type in my password here and press enter. And just need to scroll and find Keystroke Pro. There it is. I'll check it. We're told we need to quit and reopen it for the permissions to take effect. So I'll click. Now I'll close system preferences. And the icon for Keystroke Pro is indeed in the menu bar. So I'll click it. And the options here are simple. We can disable it from here. We can go into the settings. Check out the version info or quit it altogether. Now, before we go into settings and configure it, let's just see in action. I'll press shift and by default, a graphic for the shift key appears in the center of the screen for a short period of time. Now, all of that is completely configurable within the settings, as you'll see soon. I'll press shift command. And as I press these keys, you can see them appear, which makes communicating these concepts in videos and virtual meetings a whole lot easier. OK, let's go to settings up here now and see how we can configure how these graphics appear. I'll just move it across here to be a little bit more central. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.